Here we are folks and welcome back to the channel. I am on a little corner of heaven here. Upside of the bridge, Lara Bridge. A nice little area just here. Hardly anybody ever fishes. So, the water is, as you can see, it's sick. <laughs> yes, it's not very well, the water. It's had lots of rain yesterday. Oops. Forgot to loosen my drag there. Schoolboy error. Yeah, so I've got a um, fixed pat. I've been here 20 minutes and I've, had, I've just had a couple of bites, so I'm actually quite excited. It's a very small tie today, like a four meter or 4.2, so it's a rubbish tide. The winds are nice and light, it's warmed up, we're getting nice winds from France or wherever. Thank you very much, France. So yes, it's, it's on, we are fishing. Welcome along, we are rolling. Nice sexy pasty. Don't know if you noticed the little line grab there as it hit the bottom, stops it making a big splash. It does make a difference. slacken that line off. Nice bow in that line. some more bread out there. Haven't had a bite for a while. And bang. Come on. Done me there, look. That's what's come back and you can see the hook. There, sticking out there look. once they see that hook no bitey all right here's a different way of baiting up quite good for when you're casting a bit further out hook in the middle fold it over then these two sides, you just tuck that in. This side here, tuck that in. This is how we used to do it like 20 odd years ago. And that's, that's not a big bait either. Yeah, and obviously it floats. Bloody seagulls have arrived. So here we are, welcome back. Part two. Yes. I blanked the last time I came here, but it was only really a bit of an experimental job. So I've got two rods down there today, one with my pop-up rig on, on the left-hand rod, on a nice fixed pat on the right. And I don't usually fish two rods, because I find it can be a bit of a disadvantage. But when you're searching out sort of different areas, you can get away with it when it's not that, you know, prolific, the bites or anything like that. So, so yeah, you don't very often see me with two rods for mullet. So I've just climbed up onto these rocks here. So you can see the arena, 
and you can see the weed all around here look and there's a gap there so I'm kind of fishing through the gap really and if you notice the tide line look so inside it's all murky and dirty water and there's some really nice clean blue fresh tide coming in you can see the line going up there and that's all fresh tide nice and clean nice rejuvenate the plim the mullet are they are back in now and we are rolling completely trashed my fishing now I love wildlife, yeah? I love it. But I don't like swans, I'm sorry. They are useless. And all they do is hound you for your bread. And that's where all my bread is out there. And now I'm stuck. I've got two rods out of the water. I can't fish because of that floating white bird. Yeah. Ask to you as well, mate. Right, the swans are the swans gone up there for now. It cost me 20 minutes and mocked up most of my ground bait. I've just had a bite on the left hand rod here on the pop up. Slacking off the line, look. Bite straight away. He'd be on this one. He's on. He's on, mate. Yes. Here we go. Only small on that pop up. Absolutely nailed. There's only a little one, probably about a pound and a bit. All right, let's get you in, mate. And I've got my old line back. I had a my line snapped just after the swan. There we go. Nice little mullet. I brought in my other trailing line there, so I'm quite pleased about that. Yes, little beauty. Let's get him off. All right, mate. <laughs> Nicely pinned in the lip. There she is, nice little fat, little fatty. Very nice. Not much of a fight. Yes. Here we are, fish on. Just didn't get the camera on in time there, guys. Sorry about that. Oh my God. Dummy in the weeds down there. She is. Oh, she's off. She's off. Couldn't do anything about that there. I had to bully her because she was just in those weeds there. Yeah, that wasn't a bad one. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. One nil <laughs> to the mullet. Here we are. Nice pop up. Pop up rig there. That's my flounder rig that I did really well on at Christmas. So I'm bunging that on with a bit of old rag that I've got left there. See what happens. Two ounce weight. There's a nice bit of tide pushing. That spinner will be spinning. Beautiful. Here we 
we go. On the pop-up rig. On my flounder rig. Come on. It's a nice bass, I think. Nice bass. <laughs> Just screamed off. Nailed. Nailed on the pop-up spinner rig, my flounder rig. Yes. That's on my uh, Black Rock all-rounder two-pound test curve. Power action tip, baby. Here we are, it's really windy today. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Beauty. There we are. Nice little bass. Job. Little baby mullet. 